Now, let us have a look at the human rights movements in the USSR. During the first half of the 20th century, USSR and the countries of Eastern Europe were influenced by the communism of USSR. They adopted a kind of government which did not allow free multi-party elections, free uncensored press or media, or even freedom of expression or movement for ordinary people. These governments were under constant fear of conspiracies to disrupt them and kept a close control over all the activities of people. People who were tired of the anti-social activities began to make many movements for human rights, such as freedom of expression movement and free press in different parts of USSR and Eastern Europe. In countries like Hungary, Czechoslovakia and Poland, though their forms of government may have been similar, they were completely sovereign from the USSR and held only formal ties. Relations were often tense, sometimes even to the point of armed conflict for freedom from the control of USSR over them. The social movements for human rights had many shades of differences. While some movements were held for greater freedom for common people, others tried to destroy the socialist system existing in these countries. Alexander Solzhenitsyn and Andrei Shakarov were important leaders of the social movement in USSR. The person who lent his hand in the global awareness of the Soviet Union forced labor camp system is a Russian novelist, historian and critic of Soviet totalitarianism named Alexander Isayevich Solzhenitsyn. Andrei Dmitrievich Shakarov was a Russian nuclear physicist, Soviet dissident and human rights activist. Under the influence of these and other movements, a new leadership emerged in the USSR under President Gorbachev, who initiated a process of reform called Glasnost. Gorbachev's policy interpretation of Glasnost means openness to bring in greater freedom for the people. 